Hi, this is Stephanie Kwame from the CAD Academy. The CAD Academy is a pre-engineering, pre-architecture program with STEM-based curriculum. We're going to continue our peek at ARCHICAD 15 and uh, some of the new tools that it has. So we left our um, drawing kind of like, uh, we left it like this. And what I would like to do is I would like to have a little overhang here to shade that wall. And so just using this little zoom command, I'm going to zoom in here. I have the arrow up. I have the magnet that I like, so I'm going to select that panel. And note, if I select here on this grip, I get a certain tool or pal up. But that's not the one I want. On a roof, there is another pal you can get if you do the line of the roof. And what I want to do is I want to extend this roof panel at the same angle that it was drawn in a certain a specific distance. And so that tool allows you to do that. I'm going to do two for two feet. Let's rotate our building around. And let's select this panel now. So I select that, select the line of the roof line. And we're going to go ahead and select this one, which does it at an angle specified. And there we have it. Let's go ahead and do the front as well. And I want to go in a different direction now, so I'm going to go this direction. I'm going to do one. Why not rotate this and do the same thing? So repetition helps you remember, so hopefully by doing it this many times, you'll say, oh, I remember how to do that. Okay, so we're going to do that a one. So now we've uh, done or extended and done some overhangs on the roof, uh, on our gable roof. And now we want to extend this up to the roof or um, trim to roof as we used to know it. So I'm going to go ahead and make this wall higher than my current geometry or my trimming geometry, which would be that roof panel. And now we're ready to trim this. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to connect and we are this time we want to do something different. <laughs> we want to crop to single plane roof. So this is a new one and this is the one I meant to do and what we want to do is we want to crop the top element. So there's some really fun 3D tools that make life interesting and if I just say crop because all of the defaults worked for us, then we definitely uh, got that job done. Now, another issue that we have is this was not extending. I mean, this didn't um, extend all the way at to at the top because of the uh, this is a an arc obviously and then this is straight so there was a little bit of space there so I decided to play with just extending this and then uh, see if I could in fact trim this roof which was made with the roof tool with the brand new shell tool now I'm not sure if this is work gonna work so you'll have to watch me closely so I'm gonna select these two panels here I'm going to right click and we're going to go into trim elements to roof shell which is a new one as well and it says use something for my current selection set and no I want <coughs> to select a different so we're going to go to select I'm going to select this as my trimming tool and then it says click on click to select the part to keep from the element. Well, we want to keep that part. And there you go. That's uh, another, those are several new functions and features for editing and uh, fixing the, the roofs. So uh, making a complex uh, roof has never been easier with ARCHICAD 15. We're going to continue this on and we're going to continue uh, taking a look at Ar ARCHICAD 15. So until next time, adieu. Stephanie Kwame here from the CAD Academy. The CAD Academy is a pre-engineering, pre-architecture program with STEM-based uh, curriculum. 
as you recall or maybe don't recall, we had a architect take on a high school architectural drafting class here locally and he had been using 2D drafting. And the good thing or the opportunity for the high school here is that we've ha overbuilt and the architects are scrambling for any type of work. This particular architect had worked with commercial and custom homes and um, this was a great opportunity for the students. And as we were uh, doing this project, th he showed a lot of uh, fear and um, fe feeling like he would lose control or of the project as well with this package. And when in fact, uh, it was really, uh, he, g he gains control over the package. And uh, we talked about how there is a software manufacturer that's in the same business that does releases every year and sometimes features get put into that software package and they don't quite work and I think that adds to the fear factor of giving control of a project over to a piece of software whereas the uh, Graphisoft Archicad program has been around since 1984 it's been uh, number one in Europe for a very very long time it's the largest uh, architectural CAD company in the world and it's gaining strength in the US so basically you can you can trust it but it's just knowing the tools and you knowing the tools that allow you to feel confident about it so what he did is uh, after we got the walls in the details in and got the floor plan pretty settled. He came in with a set of hand-drawn drawings of this residence. So this residence was built before CAD days. And a couple of things crossed my mind. Aren't these drawings a work of art? If your CAD instructor is having you do board drafting, you thank him because it truly is a work of art. And uh, another thing crossed my mind is this poor gentleman, knowing how many reiterations we did of the floor plan, that uh, he had had to redo these beautiful hand-drawn drawings over and over and over again. And how wonderful it is in a BIM software that I can change something here in this space in my first floor, and that would be reflected in my elevations, be reflected in my schedules, and make everything well is always perfect over here and the chances of making mistake are uh, much less if you only have to do something in one place. Well, one of the things he was really concerned about is sections, and um, he was worried that he couldn't put the pen types in, he couldn't put the hatching in that he wa wanted, because again, it's a, uh, architects have that very personal touch. So we went to docu a document so we've been working a lot here in the design area but document contains some documentation and this refers to the construction documents and um, you can see that you can do 2D drawing here as well you can do elevations there's some elevations pre-done and some details and today we're just going to talk about doing a section so if I select section here I get a hint below enter first note of section line so I'm going to go ahead and just do a section across here. And then the next thing is where are you looking and how far or how deep do you want this to be? So I'm going to select there and it's a little bit at an angle which will make it a more interesting section. Now if I go over to my navigator under sections, we didn't have anything before and now we have section one. I click on section one and this is what we see. And uh, the issue being that there needs to be some hatching there to show to indicate what type of wall this is and there needs to be maybe some hatching up here to uh, show insulation and some other items that we don't have and one of the ways you can do that is you go to the arrow to bring this up for editing I'm going to select these two walls shift to add this other wall right here and go up to this and I need to show that that is CMU or that is masonry block and say OK and now the hatching is showing there properly that is the way he wanted it. We also don't have ground but we do have our slabs showing but anyway putting in materials you'll, you can figure out how you can select and edit anything here and put in materials. One way you can put in and have it show ground is by merely putting in under design a mesh and a mesh uh, is a simulation of ground and it needs to be below the building and uh, sometimes 
when you put it in, most of the time it's going to be coming in right at ground, and it, that means that our um, the um, slab would not be showing, and it would be kind of interfering interfering with our house. So we don't want that. So we're going to take this and lower this down. And I need to lower it just a little bit more. I could lower it exactly. And that's the way I should have done it. But I'm just going to visually bring this back up to there. And so now if I go back into that section, you can see that uh, it does have, that's the condition underneath the um, house. Uh, also, a, a lot of people just use a line. So I could just draw a line across here, or I could just draw some simulated earth underneath here with my line arc tools. But if I select line, if you go to, that's a drafting line, if I arrow over here, you get all kinds of different line types that you can use, like property lines. So we could put something like this underneath it that would uh, simulate um, some drainage of some sort. I mean, again, I'm, this is just all hypothetical. I'm not doing it to teach you what you should be doing, but to show you where these tools are. So I know we're going to do a wonderful section section for uh, this architect, and, and he is... Uh, very much worth my time to help him out because he influences 21 future architects. So that's why I'm, in, I'm having a great time with him and enjoying it very much. But hopefully you learned something from this today. If uh, there's questions that you need answered, go ahead and send me an email. I'd be delighted to answer them. My, name is, my email is stephanie at thecadstore.com. Thank you for watching.